Guys, let me show you a true story of what was happening when I was trying to upload some beautiful girls. So some of these beautiful girls were sitting at a bad bar. I went to them. They were not looking at me. And I said hello to them. And what did they do? The first thing. I said hello. And they spit it when I met me. And made fun of me. See, this is what, how they behave. So I stood my ground. I'm not going away. Because if I go away, it means that I lose. So even if they are spitting venom, they are trying to bite me. I'm and making, keeping the right distance is all about catching these poisonous girls. If you, if you do it wrong, if you go more close, you are in the hitting range. So you have to always be careful about hitting them. Now, they can even come to you. The first thing that they do is spit venom on you. They say, oh really? I'm not interested. I have a boyfriend. Get lost. Fuck off. Not here. These are the venom that they spit over you. Okay. But you have to hold them by their tail. And this time you have to distract them a little bit. You have to... They'll try to jump at you and bite you and spit venom at you. You have to keep telling them that. Hey. Uh, and if they get really pissed off, they'll try to bite you. You have to save yourself from getting bitten. The best idea is uh, block the play and be in no mood to back away, no matter how bad it goes. You see, and this is the worst case scenario when they can bite you. So be very careful. They are going to come you, they are going to bite you. It's as dangerous as catching the snake in few aspects. Your reflex should be very good. If there are two girls, you have to be very careful in talking with them. You have to talk to both. That's one part. The other part is the distance that you keep is very important. You have to keep a watch on each of their movement. You see, if if the snake turns back and it looks at you, it's going to bite you. You can check into a girl's eyes what she's going to do with you, how what she feels. So looking at the body language of the snake or the girl is very important. So these are some parallels. If you can catch a poisonous snake, then you can catch a girl. The most important thing is distance. Let me show you an example here. I'll show you two examples that happened today. So this is, uh, I went to the DMV and this was the whole area, suppose. There were two pillars here, and I was sitting here. Some people were here. Suddenly a girl came and stood here. This is called the cat, cat behavior of the girl. They behave like cat. She cannot say hello to me. All what she can do is if she's standing here, if she's standing here, if she's standing here, she can come here. Now, I, I had to tell her that she looks very nice in her yoga pants. Another girl was here. She twisted her legs and opened it in front of me. So this is my position. And I had to go and walk over here. And this distance is important how far I'm going to be. I have, and right now it's COVID. So it should be at least six feet or even more, the same as COVID. And I have to tell her that you look very nice in your all matching black dress. For her, I have to say that, hey, you look very nice in your yoga pants. Um, this time, since I'm sitting, she has the control over this distance. If I go closer, she can bite me. It's the same as the snake. They can bite me if I go closer. If I'm not watching at their body language, and if, if when I approached her and I'm supposed to stay, and I can see in her eyes that she's angry, making noise, or like the snake does body language, getting angry at me, then I would say, hey, do you know what time does it close? Or... Something like that. I can I can do an indirect approach. That, hey, something like that. And if she's coming here, I can ask her, hey, uh, did you get your uh, token or you're still waiting for the token? Something like that. And that has to be based on the body language. This resembles what this guy is doing. You see, when we go to the snake, we have to keep a body language. Now, if the snake is getting aggressive, like the snake almost uh, came to bite him. So he has to be careful. He has to leave the snake at the right time. Sometimes the snake would drag him and try to climb him and bite him. In that case, he has to go all the way back as much far as possible. 
and this is the most dangerous scene where the snake would try to climb on him look here and he bite this is the worst case scenario and there is no place for escape for him so you should not put in a place so if i'm if i'm here and i'm going here if the exit is here i have to keep like this if the exit is here i have to keep like this i have to keep make sure that the exit now the other thing is uh, false time constraint um, social proof the other thing is strong body language and the other thing is the important of word I think you look very nice and you did a good job. That's the standard opener. Think is because you are still thinking, you are evaluating. You did a good job as always. You means that you are evaluating. Both these things give you power. What I'm trying to say is the body language, the movement of the legs, the glance, uh, the breath, they are very important. If you do any stupid thing, they are going to bite you. The worst case scenario is they are going to blow you off. If you keep safe distance, it's safe to play with with these snakes if you keep a safe distance they won't come come closer to you to bite you if you cross the distance they come closer and they bite you so i hope you found this video useful and interesting and you can understand why we feel so much fear about this but uh, these poisonous girls and snakes have the same tendency to bite us so we have to be very careful